A new study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that people with type 2 diabetes who take diabetes drugs like Ozempic may be less likely to develop certain forms of obesity-associated cancers. Joining us now to discuss this study is Dr. Jane Morgan, a cardiologist at Piedmont Healthcare. Welcome. Thanks, Mary. Great to be here. Can you first break down the science behind how drugs like Ozempic can help reduce cancer? When we look at Ozempic, Wigovi, Monjaro, these are called the GLP-1 receptor agonists. And one of the ways that we think that these drugs work in these specific types of cancers is that because they're related to obesity, because they control obesity and reduce rate, they thereby decrease the risk of cancer. Another mechanism of action is perhaps a direct anti-tumor effect. And this may be even a very tantalizing theory when we look at colon cancer. And even though colon cancer is an obesity-associated cancer, in younger and younger age groups, we're seeing it in people who are not overweight. And what surprised you the most about the findings in this study? You know, there are actually quite a few surprises. One of the surprises is breast cancer, a definite obesity-associated cancer. The higher your weight, the greater your risk of breast cancer. And yet, these types of drugs, these GLP-1 receptor agonists, Ozempic, Wigovi, Malsharo, did not have an effect on breast cancer. They did not decrease it. They did not increase it. The other thing that was also very, very interesting is that this study took a look specifically at women in menopause. And that is a group that has traditionally been ignored. And we got data on these women as well. And when we looked at breast cancer, again, there was no increase or decrease. But kudos to this study for actually acknowledging and taking a look at this group of women um, as well. And so it may be that breast cancer may be related more to uh, estrogen metabolism, combination of obesity, earlier factors in your life. Um, and all of that needs to be elucidated. So that was maybe a surprise. And with cancer rates rising in younger people, how important might these drugs be for them? you know, incredibly important because if I were to really take a leap into where we're headed, it could be that these drugs could be positioned as preventative tools for cancer, especially in those that are overweight or with diabetes, also maybe as an adjunct to cancer therapy. In other words, you have been diagnosed with cancer, you're being treated, and in addition to your cancer therapy, maybe these GLP-1 receptor agonists would be added to improve your outcomes. All of that is yet to be seen, but lots of, lots of uh, op opportunity and promise. So I'm sure we're going to see more studies associated with this specific possible treatment. You know, there are so many studies ongoing uh, right now. We've looked at at least uh, 50 when we look at a meta-analysis as well, looking at women specifically. We absolutely want to take a look at quite a few of these cancers because thyroid cancer, which is still a black box warning for Ozempic, Wigovi, Manjaro, also showed in these studies that there might be a slightly increased risk of thyroid cancer or at least a null effect. So thyroid still is a question mark. Um, and so we need to continue to watch that as well. Dr. Jane Morgan, cardiologist at Piedmont Healthcare, thank you. Thanks so much, Mary.